Hey guys, so it's Melly, and I'm back today with uh, my favorites. I've had favorites the last couple of weekends, but I haven't been able to shoot them because one thing or another has led me to being sick or to me just not feeling well or tons of homework because I'm online classes, all of that good jazz. So um, let's do my favorites now. Uh, my favorite TV show for this past week has been Once Upon a Time. I got into it when it first came out, and then I lost interest, and then it came out, and then um, I got back into it, and I started watching it because I love anything really with fairy tales, fairy tale princesses, that type of thing. So Once Upon a Time was my favorite. Um, my favorite YouTubers this past week has been Kate the Redhead, uh, Sarah May 206, and of course the Glam Girls. Um, sorry, Glam Moms. I keep calling them Glam Girls. I don't know why, but Glam Moms, and all they are all listed below, as well as Steely Kiss 33 uh, she's one of my favorites, too. Um, so, let's, and then a favorite book has been uh, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. John Green is, like, uber cool guy. I watch his I um, Hank YouTube videos all the time. I just really love his uh, work. Um... So my favorite, uh, my favorite music this past week has been Seven Lions one more time because I've been missing my mom a lot, and so um, that's one of my favorite songs. And of course, um, Rent and um, the Rent uh, Seasons of Love song. I love that Seasons song. I believe it's titled. I'm not sure, but you you guys know which one I'm talking about. Um, and so I've really been missing my mom, and so I've been listening to a lot of music of what what would you do if uh, that moment came where you could meet him one more time, you know, that type of thing. So um, that music just gives me hope and lifts me up and helps me. Of course, Amy Jo Johnson's Puddle of Grace is one of my favorite songs to listen when I'm missing my mom. And... Um, it's just been a really stressful past couple of weeks. It's been a really stressful April. May is slowly getting better, but it's not quite there. And I have a bajillion and one things going on. So that's and um that's one of the reasons I do these videos because they keep me calm. They help me center. They help me do something I love. And you know, I'm doing them for myself, not for anybody else. And so um that's mainly one of the reasons I do YouTube and I love YouTube is because it's really gotten me back into a better place. A place of trying to focus on something and doing something and keeping up determination which helps me keep determination in my own life towards my own personal goals. Um, so anyways, back to the rest of my favorites. I'm sorry, I got lost there. Uh, one of my favorites this past week has been, and I never thought I would reach for the golden coppers and browns and stuff because I really am not a brown girl. Personally, I love color and I love bright color. So for me to, you know, and it's so funny because I ended up with blue eyes. And what brings out blue eyes the most is, um... Brown eyes. I mean, brown. So, I've been going for more coppers and brown tones this week. And it's so crazy to me that I've been going for more coppers and brown tones. Um, so, on to my favorite. My favorite this week has been Stila in the Light. I'm sorry, in the Light. I put in the note earlier, but it's actually in the Light palette. And um, I always heard everybody talk about this one shadow right here, which is called kitten it's this one right here it's called kitten and everybody in their mama talks about it on youtube and i didn't know i had it and then when i found out i had it in my palette this week i was like super uber happy but this is in the light palette and it's one of my favorite palettes and there's always a quote inside of these palettes called and this one says believe in the beauty of the future 
So, um, that's really awesome to read. Um, this has been one of my favorite palettes this past week. I really loved wearing these colors. I actually have this palette on my eye. After having an emotional moment today, I decided to redo my makeup and put this on. Um, my second uh, palette, this favorite palette has been this week, is MAC uh, Warm Neutrals palette, which I absolutely have been loving. And this is the palette right here. It's just one of my favorite um, warm neutral palettes that I have bought and loved. And I actually want to now build my own personal palette because of it. Um, my second favorite over the past couple of weeks, not this past week, but the last few weeks, has been my um, Inglot shadows. And I actually have... Um, another haul to do on these. I just haven't gotten around to it. This is my Inglot palette um, of purples and pinks and I threw one gray in there. Um, but it's so pretty. It's not even like a gray though. It's like a silvery, taupey kind of gray. And there it is right there. Oh, sorry. There it is right there. It's super pigmented super beautiful and these shadows are like butter they blend so easily i just love 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 these shadows um so that's number one and then of course this is i have um two 10 palettes two five palettes and a 20 palette filled with um inglot shadows because i want inglot crazy and then this is my other one. I, these are the uh, the five pan palettes are the ones I take with me with me um, if I'm going somewhere or doing something. Also, this past week, past couple of weeks, I've been loving um, the new Marc Jacobs that has come out recently. It's been one of my faves. It's the Siren, and here it is in the pretty white. And the reason I bought this, like I said, in the first impressions, is because I'm going to wear all of these colors. At some point, I will wear all of these colors. And I have already worn all of these colors. Um, and you see me looking over off to the side. It's because I'm checking my phone. Because I can see my camera in my phone. It's really cool. If you haven't seen some of my other videos, you should go check them out. Because I already discussed the fact that you can see, use my phone as a viewfinder in a way. But, um... This is 210 The Siren, and this is the Summer Palette by Marc Jacobs. And these colors are so pretty, so pigmented. I'm going to swatch um, the copper, yellow, and red for you. And I just love, love, love these colors right here for Marc Jacobs. It's one oh, crazy swatch I did. There you go. It's one of my... Um, favorites right here is these i love these three colors but um it's one of my favorite palettes it's also very blendable very smooth very creamy S oh my god i'm in love kind of palette um so i just love it it's not you can't go wrong for 60 dollars i mean mac was a hundred dollars uh mac is the most expensive eye palette um eyeshadow i actually own in my collection even including the inglot that mac is the most expensive i own um but i do love love this palette and it's one of my favorites and i'm gonna go to it a lot this summer i can already tell um Inglot, I order my Inglot shadows not from the Inglot website, but actually from Beautylish, which is list, will be listed below in my About Me section, along with um, my, um, what else, along with my social media sites and, and names and whatnot, so you can find me on social media, and you can find me on um, YouTube and all, I mean not YouTube, because this is on YouTube. But everywhere else. <laughs> um, this has been one of my favorite palettes too recently. Uh, it's the Ambien Trio. Hourglass Ambient Dim Light. Incandescent Light. And Radiant Light Trio. Um, I actually used the... Uh, I believe it's... 
it's the dim light. I use the dim light over here on the other side to warm up my face. But I actually have lear or to learned a trick recently. I take all three of these and I um, take them all three. I take a brush, run them across all three and run it all over my face to set my face. And it gives me a nice, healthy, like summery type glow. And I really love it. I think it's so pretty. But I just recently learned that I just decided to try it one day and I just think it's super pretty. It's a very nice glow. It's not um very highlighty like the highlight uh glow is. Let me if you can see this, this is the highlight. Hold on. Let me find out where I am. This is the highlight right here. Um it's not very uh highlighty like that. But it does give you, when you mix all three of them together, it does give you a nice glow. I actually did that to my uh, face today. I'm not sure if you can tell because I redid my makeup, as I said. Um, and also, if you see another glow on my face, it is this item that I just recently bought and have been using the last couple of days, which is BH Cosmetics Bombshell um, and Starlet. It's it's called the Starlet. I love everything with the name Starlet. And these are very um, shimmery. Um, they have very much a highlighter like essence to them. So they're not for like everyday normal bronzy look. But they, if I don't know if you can see, they have very much um, a highlighter to them right here. Very much a highlight to them. And um, they blend really well together and they just give you a nice, very contour, not, when they go on your cheek, it's a highlight. It's not like, oh my god, there's glitter on my face, I gotta wipe it off. It's just a very nice glow highlight and um, with your contouring and it's very beautiful. Um, another bronze... And I'm sorry, I keep reaching over. I should have organized this. But another bronze palette that I absolutely loved, and I loved it for the month of April, and I've been loving it again, is my Too Faced uh, Bonjour Soleil palette. I've been going to this a lot. I do have the Too Faced Bonjour um, eyeshadow palette, but uh, from uh, Sephora. But I I've been going more for my bronzers. And I've really loved this a lot lately. Um, my foundation routine has been more of um, BB creams and, instead of actual actual foundation. But when I do use foundation, it's been the e.l.f. Uh, foundation, acne foundation that I've been using. It's been, um, for my BB cream, it's been the Dream Fresh BB 8-in-1 Maybelline, uh, which helps prevent sunburn, and this actually does help prevent sunburn. And then my balm, the Balm Tinted Moisturizer, which is in Lighter Than Light, but um, I'm going to have to switch it up and go to light or light to medium to give myself a little bit more of... Uh, a coverage look instead of just a moisturizer look because this makes me very pale and um, very white like almost ghostly white since the Sun is coming out and I'm getting more um, Sun so I had to um, I, I put bronzer to warm up my face and whatnot and then so my final thing that I've been loving for oh uh, I'm going to do this, uh, has been, oh, where is it, my, my, I've been loving this sample of Too Faced Lashgasm Mascara by Too Faced, I've been really loving this, um, because I love the wand in it, uh, I've been loving Urban Decay Skin Denavia All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray as well as the D-Slick Setting Spray, especially the D-Slick Setting Spray because it helps with the oil and I ran out of that recently, um, and then my favorite, uh, is there anything else? My favorite brushes have been the Too Faced, um, brushes, I mean not the Too Faced, the Real Technique brushes, I love those. And then also the, um, 
BH Cosmetics uh, uh, pop art brushes and the polka dot brushes that remind me of the pop art brushes. I've been loving those a lot lately for doing my makeup. And then my sponge that I've been using is the Real Techniques sponge. I actually found out the trick to that is that you have to really wet it down with water and soak it and let it soak up and then squeeze it out like you do the beauty blender to get it to work a lot better. Um, NYX HD and Yellow has been my concealer of late and NYX HD and Fair has been, this is the yellow, this is the fair, have been my two concealers that I've been using for um, concealing underneath my eyes and then highlighting it. And then I either set it with the uh, dim light powders or I set it with the e.l.f. tone correcting powder, which is this one. Um, I usually use the yellow because I get black circles underneath my eyes for I don't sleep enough at night. I just can never sleep enough. Ever since my mom passed away, I just don't like get enough sleep um and that's pretty much been it um as far as lipstick goes i've been uh sticking to um oh my eyeshadow primer of late has been the Too faced eyeshadow primer i've been loving this i have the urban decay um primer and i have used it but i don't know why i always end up turning to the Too faced primer i just love that um and then my favorite uh, lip products have been the baby lips and then uh, but I like the clinical strength baby lips and then NYX butter gloss and creme brulee and also NYX uh, lip butter and uh, hubba bubba which is this one which is a very like nudie pink and then soda pop um, and then I think that's it. Oh, and of course my Kat Von D. I always go to my Kat Von D's, which is Backstage Bambi. That's one of my absolute favorite favorites of lights, which is Backstage Bambi. So, um, my favorite thing I've been doing for my hair of recently is Batista Dry Shampoo. I love this. I wash my hair every couple of days, and I use the Batista Dry Shampoo in between to keep it, uh, to help it, to volumize it, to do all that gorgeous wonderful stuff to it. Um, makeup wipes is elf. I keep going back to these wipes constantly. I try other wipes and I don't like them and then excuse me sorry and then I end up going back to these. Um, you getting a full frontal on my face there. Uh, and then my next thing is my Sephora eye cleaner. I love this stuff of late. Um, so I think I've covered everything that I've been loving recently. My favorite thing to drink usually around summertime is green tea with lemonade. I love um, me some ice cream tea with lemonade in it. It's one of my favorite, favorite drinks around the summertime. And then, um, sorry about that. I have allergies. And then that's pretty much been it. That's been it. That's been my all my favorites for the past couple of weeks. Um, as I said, I am moving. So I'm trying to like sort everything out, get everything settled, fix everything, change it around, do that kind of stuff to it. Um, and But other than that, that's been absolutely it. Uh, my blush has been my Sephora Pantone blush. Um... Which is this blush right here. This Sephora Pantone Universe blush with the Radiant Orchid. I actually haven't been using the Radiant Orchid. I've been using this one which is a Bridal Rose. Uh, that's been one of my favorite blushes of recently. And then my cinnamon, uh, my NYX cinnamon blush which I don't know where it's at at the moment. Uh, but those have been my two favorite blushes of sorts lately. So other than that, I don't have anything else I can think of that I've really loved. I do have one flop or one bash it. One thing I didn't like this week. I got this um, Hang 10 SPF 50 sunscreen and uh, um, my Ipsy bag and I tried it and I don't like it. It says non-greasy but this thing is like grease. Like I feel like I have grease. I like a slattered oil all over my body. And um, 
I generally don't like that because come summertime, I just am like always sweating constantly. I'm a Vaseline girl anyways come summertime. So, um, that's why I don't like this. Other than that, it's been, it's, it's a nice, uh, sunscreen. It's just that it makes you feel really oily, really sticky, and just, ugh. Um... So that's all I can think of that's been my favorites of late. Um, so I hope you guys have a good day. Now, uh, my down below section has all my favorite YouTubers along with my social media now listed down below because everybody kept telling me they couldn't find it. Um, and I hope you all have a great Sunday. Uh, if you haven't seen Once Upon a Time, I really think you guys should give it a chance. I love the storylines, the plots, the characters. Oh my god, they're so awesome. Um, it's my One of my new favorite characters on there is Captain Hook. I hope he ends up with Emma. If you know who Captain Hook and Emma are, I'm totally team uh, Hooksman. Hooksman. Or Hook him. Hook him. Hook him. Totally team Hook him. Uh, that's a joke. It's a fan fiction thing. Um, because I write fan fiction. Other than that, uh, that's all I've been doing recently for my makeup. I hope you guys, uh, like it. I hope you had a good day. Um, peace, happiness, love, and joy to all of you. And I will see you again. Bye.